the the topic at hand here is um, really planned giving, which can uh, take any number of different directions. It can apply to someone that's working on their monthly budget, to someone that has um, worked hard to build a nice nest egg and has really empowered themselves in the retirement season, and even those um, preparing for end of life planning and the different considerations that they might make along the way. Um, it, any any major gift um, made in the course of one's lifetime or a, or a death is um, really a part of a donor's overall financial and estate planning. Um, one of the things that I will focus on today is everyone's familiar with the ability and opportunity to maybe make a cash gift, whether that's part of a regular tithe, um, you know, on a, on a monthly basis or, or maybe a lump sum when the need presents itself. Uh, and so one of my goals is to expand both awareness and education around other types of assets and other types of strategies in which uh, one might be able to gift um, along the way. Those might include a uh, gift of stocks. Uh, that might include a gift of life insurance, either as um, using a charity as a beneficiary or even uh, gifting ownership of a policy. That might include real estate. That might include personal property um, and other complex gifts. Uh, we always... Um, recommend our clients to make sure that they are working uh, either with an organization or with their trusted advisors. Um, that could be investment advisors like myself. It could be uh, estate attorneys. It can be CPAs. Um, there's always stakeholders um, that can assist in those conversations. I'm sure that many of you have engaged uh, with some of those types of advisors, some of you maybe not. Um, and hopefully the church and even a presentation like this uh, can be a resource to you um, to start to consider how you might be able to um, prioritize uh, charitable giving along the way.